Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. In the last video, you guys watched me make that uh, bender to bend the collar for the used oil burner chimney. So today, we're going to actually put it to work. So hopefully it works. If not, we'll try something different. You know we always do. So let's get to it. Alright y'all, did a little math of magic and uh, figured up I needed a 18.8 inch long piece of flat stock to make that uh, collar and this I just went ahead and made it 19 inches so we're going to put it in here and uh, let's see if we can get her bent around. I did make a template to, to see if uh, to make sure I'm making it the, the right uh, diameter. I guess so we're just gonna work around here if it's a little tight we can always bend her back She's working pretty well. Looks like I'm getting a little tight there. Come back up here. And... Do a little more around this side. Like I said, we can always straighten her back out a little bit. As long as we can get a good angle going around there. So, yeah. We can always open her back up a little bit, so. Alright, let's keep on going here. Alright, I'm going to shut the camera off, y'all. I'm going to finish bending this around, and then we'll bring y'all back whenever uh, we get a circle. Alright, y'all. There's the finished product. I did go over to the, took the grinder, and I kept cutting a little bit off, a little bit off, bringing it around, and uh, matching it up to my pattern. Which... There's my pattern right there, and uh, it fits just on the inside of that pattern real nice. I may have to, you know, bring it around a little bit, uh, make it a little round, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay a bead on it, and the inside and the outside, and then we can manipulate it from there. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to fit in that pipe nice. Uh, I'm going to actually go out and and give it a try here in a second um can't bring you guys long because it's outside so but uh yeah we'll bring you back whenever i uh see if it fits all right y'all here's a chunk of the pipe that size i'm going to be using this is just an old piece i'm going to get new but uh yeah she goes in there nice it's gonna it's gonna be real nice in there so all right I'm going to grab the welder and uh, weld this seam up and uh, we should be ready to cut a hole in the top of the, a bigger hole in the top of the oil burner and uh, weld this sucker in. So let me do that and we'll bring y'all back. Alright y'all, we got this all welded up and uh, fits in there nicely. Now we just need to Cut the hole in the top of the wood burner, or the oil burner, not wood burner, oil burner, and uh, weld it in. We can stick our new big six inch chimney on there. So, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, as for the bender, the uh, uh, what I think uh, if I was going to do another one, uh, let me grab it here. 
I was going to do another one. I think what I would do is make these pins closer together. Up here, uh, I had a long tail on each end that I had to kind of manipulate by hand. If these were closer together, you know, uh, if they were closer together, they would it would bend a lot easier. But I'm not going for tight bends, I guess, with this one. Uh, if we do another one, we will definitely make it closer together. So, I mean, it wouldn't be much to take this off and redraw another pin over here closer. Same way over here. This one, this one's not that big a deal, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. If we moved it down a little closer here and over this way, maybe. I don't know. So, anyways, that's what it is. So, hope you all enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting weather ready to, getting excited to get that new chimney put on there and see if that oil burner burns better, so. All right, y'all, there you have it. We put that bender to the test. Uh, I feel, all in all, it worked fairly well. Uh, like I said, I would move those pins a little closer to the center pivot, uh, just so I can get closer to the ends of the, what I'm bending, uh. If I would have made the piece longer, the strip longer, it wouldn't have been a big deal. They just would have overlapped. Um, we could we could deal with that. But uh, yeah, I'd give it a yeah seven and a half out of ten. Seven? I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments. What you guys think? Uh, so one step closer to getting the bigger chimney put on the used oil burner. Temperatures are getting colder here. Uh, maybe the next video. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll get that cut out and uh, get it welded in, and we'll get the new chimney on. So, appreciate you all watching, and uh, we'll catch you all on the next one. Remember, keep wrenching. All right, y'all, uh, I did a little math of magic and figured out that I need an 18.8 .8 inch long piece of flat stock to make that six inch circle. 